Hey kittens, Silver here with Melba the Cat by Douglas Cuddle Toys and today I'm going to be revealing a Grail cat that I actually opened up today. I didn't do an unboxing because uh, it was in a larger lot of stuffed animals and it was in very very rough condition. This was one dirty kitty let me tell you. <laughs> so, um, so I didn't really want to uh, handle it any longer than I absolutely had to. It basically just went straight in the washing machine. Um, it got a very vigorous brushing. It did require some sewing as there was a hole in the bottom, so I'm going to show to you now who the new cat is. And the reason I brought Melba out is because Melba was the cat that ended up replacing this cat way back when, um, when it was first produced. So I am very happy to announce that I have found Maya, the long-haired cat by Douglas Cuddle Toys, and she already has her own little charm which is, um, it has sort of a tiger stripe pattern. I already happened to have this on hand and I was just sort of sorting through all my charms to see which one would fit her and I thought this one uh, really worked nicely. But anyway, you can definitely see the similarity between the two cats. Um, the, the coat colors are very similar. You have that sort of multicolored brown and sort of maybe cream colored fur. And you have the white underneath sort of that long wispy fur and her uh, her eyes are more of a olive color whereas Melba's are a little bit more of a golden color they have a little bit more of a transparency to them and I'd say she has a little bit more of um, this sort of brownish color in her fur compared to um, Melba I'm getting their names confused now. <laughs> it almost it almost reminds me a little bit of a tortoise shell fur. I don't think that's what she was meant to be, but that's kind of what it's reminiscent of, I think. Uh, they both have pink plastic noses, slightly different shades. Oop, her little her little charm is turning around. Um, and she's uh, one of the 16-inch floppy cats. I believe she may actually be the very last 16-inch floppy cat that I needed for my collection for it to be complete. So that <laughs> that is quite an achievement right there. Um, so as you can see, she's... Um, well, actually, I ended up completely restuffing her, so she's quite floppy. Um, I, I kept her that way purposely. She does have some beans in her paws. And uh, she does have plastic whiskers as well. Luckily, there was um, there was really no scratching on the eyes, which is often the case with older plush, so I was really pleased about that. And um, she was actually manufactured in the year 2002 and was retired in 2005, so this is a girl that has some miles on her. But um, I really have to give a huge thank you to my good friend Heather, who spotted this plush on Facebook Marketplace for me. I never would have come across this if it hadn't been for her, and I'm still amazed that she was able to identify that it was a Douglas cat based on the picture and the listing, um, because I think most other people would have probably glossed right over it. So I am so, so happy and so so thankful to you, Heather, for, <laughs> for pointing this out to me, uh, because I don't think I've ever seen uh, Maya ever sold before, at least that I can recall. I've, I've only ever seen maybe like two pictures on DeviantArt, and that was about it. So very happy to have her in my collection, and I'm really glad that uh, I was able to restore her to the best of my ability. It was definitely a challenge. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, then uh, you kind of saw the play-by-play uh, the -play of how that went. But um, she's definitely unrecognizable from when I first got her. So, um, and she was also a huge, uh, a huge bargain. Uh, I cannot complain about the price. She was like eight dollars, along with a lot of other plush. So, those I'll probably end up just, you know, donating or um, I don't know if any of them are worth reselling at this point. But I have my Maya, and that is what is important. And here she is with Melba one more time, so you can get a. A little comparison of the two. So cute together. And I think actually uh, Maya is meant to be maybe, she has sort of a Persian look because she has a much flatter snout than Melba does. That's what it reminds me of anyway. I'm not sure what the exact breed type um, is for Maya. They're kind of nondescript on, um, you know, on the Douglas website or the archives where you can check to see uh, the information on all the retired Douglas. So that is my new cat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back again soon with some more plush goodness. Bye, everybody.